Mr. President, first I want to begin by extending my deepest condolences and prayers to the families and loved ones of those lost in the heinous church shooting in Charleston, South Carolina. Our hearts break for the people of Charleston and especially for the congregation of this house of God, a place of refuge, a place of peace, a place of love. The perpetrator of this hate crime must be found and swiftly brought to justice. Tragedies like this remind us that we are all interconnected in our hometowns, in our country, across the planet, whether it is our common home of worship or the common home of our planet, we are called every day to care for one another, especially those who are most in need.